today they ain't gonna probably bite today we got a lot of rain coming this week probably about four inches of rain it'll be flooded again so i just gonna get them out because ain't no need me leaving them down here and this is one of my yo-yos right here look at here y'all we got eight catfish now i done pulled two off one in which the hook was broke and another one the whole hook was missing so i don't know this is a fairly decent catfish here I don't want to get too aggressive with him. All right, I got him. A lot of times they own this stuff, they'll, oh, and we bit, these are biting right here on liver. Now, y'all, this is a fairly good cat for down here in this swamp. Oh, yes, this is a good cat, really. So he's probably about two pounds. Put him in a live well. We ain't got no cooler. We got the cooler in the back of the buggy over there. And y'all, this is an ordeal to get this boat out of here. I had to use a winch. I may show you a little bit this time, but nice cat. Nails in my tree because I'll come back and fish these again at some point with these yo-yos. So we'll leave them nails there. So I'm gonna just pull the bait off, throw it down there where it ain't a stinking and whatnot, and my bucket, and, and I didn't bring the cardboard box. So I'm just gonna drop them in my coffee can and there'll be a, a tangled up mess in there. I better get my pliers over here where I can get my hands on them when I need them, and I'm gonna need them for the days over. Oh, we got two or three more, I'm gonna paddle right on up here and see i think there's another fish on one right up here and y'all i realize the way i'm filming this these videos can get long there's a lot of footage so i'll try not to talk no heap and we'll just get these hooks up run them and see what we get caught in i don't think it has hit yet you gotta watch out <laughs> He'll get you. I'm gonna wind up with fish slobber in my coffee, ain't I? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's, he's decent. Y'all, yeah. we're gonna have some kind of fish fry tonight now. I'm telling you, we're gonna have a fish fry tonight. Yeah, buddy. I didn't know the tree done knocked y'all the wind and look. Nice little old cat. Y'all, I didn't think there was one on this little old hook him. He's got a fish too. It was reeled up and mighty steel. I think he's hooked good enough that we can flip him in the boat. Old Brody ain't here to get mad at it. I left all them and Roscoe in the bed asleep this morning. They wasn't ready to get to stirring when I got ready to go. I needed to y'all to get down here and get these run and up before the, uh, before too late because I got to get to work, y'all. I'm gonna fool around if I fish too much and get broke, broke, broke. Now, I don't think there's nothing on this other one right over here. Because I 
I just roll them y'all as I get them back up on these boards. Here in the beginning of the video, I kind of try to show what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Just not that it's the best way or the right way or all such as that kind of business, but just the way I do it. That's all that amounts to. Uh, now we got, there's a fish on that one limb right over yonder. You can see that limb a pulling. So I know I got, I seen another limb over there pulling. So, and it's been, I didn't check them at all yesterday. We had church yesterday. Today's Monday. I put them out Saturday evening. I don't like to leave stuff that long, but sometimes you ain't got no choice. Bait gone. That limb over yonder a jerking. I tried to back y'all out into the into the fish eye view where you could see a little bit there. And that lid's gonna go all the way down yonder. A lot of people use a bucket to put their stuff in. I turn a bucket over. That's why I don't use a bucket in this John boat. I'm always running into limbs and running up in bushes and a bucket I'll turn over and scatter that I, it stays in here now in my big boat in the big river I do use a bucket but down here you running up on logs and bouncing around all right y'all all right get my dip net ready it could be a good one and it could be a little old bitty one but too many times I have pulled this up and the fish come off at the top of the water is why I get a ooh Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He ain't a good one, but he ain't he ain't a little one. We ain't caught a little bitty one like me and brother was catching up today yet. I mean, we this has all been decent sized catfish for the most part, y'all. Alright, so right now I'm just throwing them in the floor back there. Up, it up, and I'm gonna try to demonstrate this one more again, y'all. Maybe it'll go right this time. Reach up there and I, I did it. Pull, pull my tag in. Comes right loose. All right, and then find my. There it is. Find my loop. I did find my camouflage line, mainly because it had a fish that snatched it pretty good. All right. All right, y'all. This is what we got here for is a live whale in this boot seat. Y'all, that live whale is what allowed me to learn how to keep grunnel right. Uh, I figured out how to process grenadine and, and keep them alive and eat them on my own because of this live whale. I grew up with this, and uh, 
we always had our fish alive when we got home. We cleaned them, we ate them, we never had a problem. And I kept hearing people say, oh, they mush it on it. I found out everybody else is throwing them in a cooler ice, which is good for catfish, bring them, crappie, all those other fish. But gar and bowfin, you can't do that with. And I've never eaten gar. I'm just going by what I learned on, actually on the outdoor boys. Brody loves to watch the outdoor boys and they go down to uh, Morgan City in Louisiana and go to guided with some old boy down there. And he was telling that bowfin was, I mean, that gar was like bowfin, that you, the meat would break down. So let's go run the rest of these. We got more fish to get. Y'all, we ain't caught a little one yet. We ain't caught a little one yet. Tell you what, let me get my limb over here. Pull my tag in. It comes right out of there. Mm. Good fish, y'all. Good fish. Thank you. 
Well, y'all, we had a pretty good run. Oh, my motor is messing up. When I pull it, well, let me get it out of gear. It ain't catching on nothing. You see that? See, every now and then it'll catch. Well, <laughs> I just left it running the whole time. So, uh, I'm finna put these fish in the cooler up here when I get pulled out. I'm gonna try to set the camera up over here and let you watch this operation of getting this boat out of here. These tires I bought ain't mud tires. And this bank is slick, so we're gonna have to winch this thing out of here. Let me see, let y'all see what it entails. I didn't really think to put the plug in it before, I, and I brought the cooler. Y'all, we had a good run. We got we got a bunch of good size fish, and I. <laughs> And y'all a Gasper goo. <laughs> I should have thrown him back, but hey, we got him now. Let me get this boat. I don't know him where I want it. Set this heavier stuff is gonna bounce around pretty good. Oh, 
All right, y'all. We're gonna pour us one more cup of coffee here. I bet it's still hot out of this Yeti. Look at it steaming. Now we got some coffee for the ride out. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I wanted to camp out down here. I had the full intentions of setting up right here and fixing me a campsite on this bank because there's some blowed down trees I could cut up for firewood and this backwater lake. I could even put the canoe in right here and run these yo-yos all night would be ideal. And we may come do that before long, but with the rain coming in, the giving out around four inches of rain, that is just too much for me to leave my stuff in the water. Uh, and it ain't no big deal to come put it all back out. Me and Brody, it took us all day, but we caught a pile of fish putting them out that day. And uh, we had a good run today. I really got more fish than I know what to do with. I've got a dish pan full at the house that I'm going to have a fish fry tonight. I may put these in the freezer or I may clean them and give them to somebody else that wants them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, they won't go to waste. I promise you. I don't keep, if, if I thought they was going to go to waste, I wouldn't even put my hooks in the water. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.